everyone and a very big welcome to Seppy Sky Homemade. So today I'm going to do a wee recipe for you and we're going to have some spicy barbecue chicken wings, a sweet crunchy salad with some black pepper and sea salt croutons and a lovely Caesar dressing on that. And we're going to have some baby boiled potatoes with some garlic butter and coriander and some garlic. So uh, hopefully you enjoy this wee recipe and we'll just get started here. So first of all, you're going to need some chicken wings. I've got two big, beautiful boxes of chicken wings and you're going to need something to marinate them in. So I'm just going to go with this. So let's get these chicken wings opened. chilies in here so I don't want it too crazy. And then I'm going to chop up some garlic. So I'm not going to put too much garlic in it, I don't want too garlicky but just a wee bit to give it a wee kick. This really isn't the best in the box here. A bit there. Yeah, so I'm just going to marinate it with all these lovely spices and then I'm not actually going to add my barbecue sauce in until the end because I find if you overcook the barbecue sauce you get that uh, back taste of it which I don't like. So we're just chopping up a wee bit of garlic here and we are going to put that in with our chicken wings and our spices that we've added. And for anyone that's just joining we are adding fajita seasoning some bar barbecue seasoning and some crushed chilies, garlic, salt, and then we are going to add some fresh chili. Ooh, them bad boys. Ooh, I love them. Sometimes they're not really good for the stomach, like, but so I'm just gonna roughly chop this chilli, don't have to go too crazy. I actually want to put some in with it now and then once it's nearly cooked I'm just going to sprinkle some at the top. I love the taste of fresh chilies just sitting on top of that chicken, These lovely chicken wings. So I'm just going to put a wee red one in for now and then I'll put all the mixed colours in at the end. Just something to give it a wee bit of flavour. It really doesn't matter what way you're chopping these, just Chop them away if you want to do it with a stick to it. So I'm just going to sprinkle a few of them over for a wee bit of flavour. I'm going to set this over here for now. And then Mama, no. I'm And then I'm going to take my big metal spoon and we're just going to we're just going to mix all this in. I might actually have to get my hands in here dirty, you know, because big bowl. So yeah, give it a really good coating of barbecue seasoning and the fajita really good coating. And the trick is to rub them in a wee bit of oil first to get the extra crispiness, but I'm hoping I can just get the crispiness anyhow. I ran out 
they are as well. So I have got my oven. <clears throat> it's just an old school oven, it's not a fan oven, and I've got it preheated to 190. And I'm gonna leave them in for 45 minutes. Check them, and if they're getting near the crispiness, then I will add the barbecue sauce at the end, and then some more flavoring, just to give that extra wee kick at the end. And see how they're going then. dry for now and then at the end of the, we're going to put all of this barbecue sauce in at the end and make it yummy and sticky. And so I've got a wee tray already set out here and I'm just going to pour this in here and then I can give it an extra wee mix in on my hands to get all them flavours in. It probably is better to marinate them overnight but I just decided to do this video tonight so we're doing a really big quick rubbing in those spices there to get all that lovely flavour on and then we are going to put this in the oven I'm just going to wash my hands guys because chickens I'm going to be getting salmonella or whatever it's called See it all at the end and how it comes along in that. So our second we are always gonna be to get the salad ready. So I'm just going with a sweet crunch salad and I'm just gonna wash that now. Just a simple salad. crunchy salad, carrots, lettuce, I think we've got onion in that too, and we're just going to scoop that out there. And then I also have to add to that, um, I'm just going to add some, I just bought a pre-made Caesar dressing soda, but you can make your own, I'm sure it's quite easy, I prefer the box stuff anyway. You could actually, if you don't like the Caesar dressing, then I'm sure you can put anything, it'll be delicious with your chicken wings filled with flavours. So, we're, yeah, we're just going to put um, just a good amount. If you like it extra saucy, then work away, it doesn't really matter. So, we're just adding a wee bit of Caesar salad dressing to this. We're going to mix all that in. I'm actually going to add a wee bit more because I really love Caesar salad dressing. I love it, love it, love it. So mix all that into that lovely crunchy salad. And you can add anything to your salad, obviously. Anything will go with them lovely chicken rings. And then normally I would put like a shaved cheese, like a parmesan or maybe block, slice block cheese but I don't have any so I'm just going to go with normal grated mature cheddar and I'm literally just going to sprinkle a few wee dots of cheese on that 
and then I'm going to mix that in there. So we're mixing in this lovely cheese into this salad now and to finish off that salad I have a lovely black pepper and sea salt croutons. I just got them from the co-op. They're really easy to make yourself up to say. I didn't plan to do a video today so I just got what I had. And we're just going to spread all them croutons all over and I just like to let them sit at the top until the end so they don't get all soggy. I just like to prep everything you know. So that is a lovely beautiful salad with our croutons and our chicken, well not chicken, our Caesar dressing. So I'm just going to set this over here with maybe lid on it to keep it nice and fresh. And then our next sweet thing will be the lovely potatoes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. potatoes boiled I like to leave the skin on mine so they're pre-boiled and they're just cooling right now and the next step then is just to add the garlic crushed chilies butter and some chopped up coriander do these things when you're trying to do a video isn't it brush all over there be generous with the garlic guys because oh yum yum it's all soaked up in that garlic butter. I'm going to use a few new cloves for this. I just love it. So I'm using three. Three big cloves right now. So we have just chopped our garlic up for our gorgeous sweet potatoes, our baby potatoes. And I have them pre boiled already. So I'm just going to do a knee joint. We're going to let the potatoes cook in the garlic butter for a wee while first. And then we will add the fresh chilies and the coriander. A wee bit of salt too, guys. You can add about a bit of black pepper if you like, but it kind of goes to my stomach. So, so get that pot nice and hot and get that butter melted down, the black garlic, chopped up garlic. You don't need to cook this too long, so you don't just let it sit in that flavour until the chicken and all is ready, because it does take a good hour or whatever. Potatoes are starting to boil up here. Now that's getting nice and hot, I'm just going to add 
some crushed chilies to my hot potatoes. I like them a wee bit spicy, so do I. Yummy, yummy. Okay, we'll just mix that in there. And then I'm going to add my coriander in. It's a really quick, nicely simple recipe and the flavours will just be popping in your mouth. Really delicious. It's kind of healthy in a way. The butter that's put in it. Maybe the dressing. No, that's no dressing. No fat dressing. So, we have our potatoes all cooked and we just let them cook another wee minute or two and the flavour will be beautiful. So I've let my chicken wings crispen up a wee bit in the oven and now I'm just going to transfer them. I'm just going to put these chicken wings into this wee bowl. It's a wee oven cook dish actually and then we are going to add our lovely barbecue sauce. Try not to splash the camera here with all these juices and little bit of flavours here. So I'm just going to bung in all the we leftovers in the bottom. Probably chilli, garlic and all that. They don't smell delicious by the way. So it's been cooking roughly about 45 minutes now. So I'm just going to put my barbecue sauce on, I will do it at the end and let that cook for maybe another further, I'd say maybe 20 minutes, get a nice sticky barbecue. Texture on that, lovely and sticky, it's going to go so sticky, hopefully it will go this time. So I'm just going to give that a really good mix and I've bunged my oven up maybe 200 now. Try and crisp these up and get that sticky to it. I'm just going to mix. I just bought a plain barbecue sauce from the co op because I already added all my flavourings earlier on and the mixtures and stuff. Just give them a really good mix. And then we're going to put this back in the oven for, say, another 20 minutes or so. Like that. So let's put this in the oven for another 20 minutes, maybe. So our barbecue chicken wings are ready. I've just taken them out of the oven and I'm just going to plate it all up now. So, so I'm just going to place the lovely crunchy salad that we made earlier and we're just going to place it somewhere here on that plate. Oh, listen to them lovely croutons. Yummy, yummy, yummy in the tummy. And then we're going to add our lovely potatoes. These were done in the garlic butter and the coriander and the crushed chili. Let's just put the wee potatoes on there. And then I'm just going to be very careful with this, guys, because it is very hot. And Sticker, you want it, you can leave it in longer, but mine are just perfect for me. Right now. If you want them extra sticky, then just keep cooking them a little bit more. Those lovely chicken wings. Yummy, yummy. And there's, there's some juice left over in the bottom there, so I'm just going to fire some of that over. wings uh, all the chili from earlier on and you can maybe just put a wee dull of ch chilies let's say chilies there at the side and I'm just going to show you how you put that yummy scrummy barbecue spicy barbecue chicken wings and wee sides to go so it's just a really quick and simple recipe guys and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did um, please like, share and subscribe and hopefully I'll be able to do some more videos for you soon and thank you very much for watching, thank you.